I'm in Pardon Island and I'm in the showroom at Tile Toria where we're doing what we do best and that's making some magic in terms of interviewing and chatting with some prominent South Africans. This one rose to fame in David Kramer's fantastic District 6 production. He of course comes from a singing, dancing and musically orientated family, the Adams family. It's Mr. Emo Adams. He sings, he dances, he entertains as he has been for many, many years, young and old, legendary South African entertainer, Emo Adam. Yes, I'm here. How are you doing, man? <laughs> Good right. to see you. What a career and uh, what a career you've had. What a, uh, an amazing part of South Africa's journey you've yes. been. Uh, what do you love doing most? Singing, dancing, uh, being funny? I mean, what is, what is your, your, the thing that, 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 that gets you going? That is a very good question. I, th I, would, I, would, have to th I would have to say it's, it's all of those collectively yes. because that's like deciding what is your favorite child, even though I have a favorite child. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag awkward. Um, no, man, I think um, it, there was a point in my career when you do one thing and then you excel in that thing and then you're like, okay, so what is the next thing? Yeah. And I think that was always the thing for me. I always wanted to know what is the next thing. So then you take all of those elements, the singing and the dancing and the acting, and you combine it, and then you get the tall, dark, and Afrikaans brand. <laughs> Listen, you still have so much in terms of, um, of yourself to give to South Africans. What is next in terms of products, uh, pro uh, projects for Ido, uh, Emo Adams? Okay, so um, I did my show, Yo Show with Emo, yeah. and um, this will be the last year for me. Uh, because oh, it's, it's I for ten. one am, I, I know it's, it's time to, but I I am, it's my show, it's my <laughs> fix, it's my fix. It's a crazy show, it's man. It's crazy, I It's love crazy, it. but it's weird if you're the only crazy yeah. person <laughs> on the show. And the guess is, it's like, is this bra <laughs> I'm like, hi on life, man. man. <laughs> no, but I think um, we all have to set goals. Yeah. We need to set milestones. And that for me was, and I mean, I, when I went to Kenya the first time, mm. they asked me to be a continuity presenter. And I was like, oh, you could give me my own show. Yes. And they were like, <laughs> no. And then I went to go borrow money, 10,000 Rand to be exact. And um, I think Mark Lottering that was also on the show. Yeah. And Joe Barber is people I use for my pilot. And it got commissioned through that. Unbelievable. So uh, even at the time when I, my point is, even if at the time when I got no for an answer, yeah, still I still pursued it. it. Yes. I was like, there is no, you can't tell me no. Yeah. I mean, there has to be, Away, I mean, a lot of helicopter flieg in the lucht. How can you oh. say that this is impossible? Sure. Um, so I'm, I'm finishing off this show this year with a yo -sh with a yo show special. Um, this year marks another milestone for me, being 30 years in the music industry. I um, did my show at Grand West um, in March. And it was, you know what was so dope? The show was sold out one, a month before the time. And two, it was sold out before I could even announce who's the special guest <laughs> artist on the show. So that's five and a half thousand people sitting at Grand West. And you know, you think you're quiet. In the moment, you're just like, hey, I'm untouchable <laughs> right now. Until you stand in the audience. Yeah. So there was a moment, um, the floating stage goes from the main stage and it goes um, to the back of the audience. And then you look back and then it hits you. Cause then you're like, the means it for my Like this is, this is what hard work is about. Yeah. You know, people yeah. coming out. And it, you know, I must tell you this, I'm just going to add it there for the people at home. <laughs> you, know, right? you try to accommodate everyone. So yeah. you have like a 80 bucks tickets, sure. 120, and then the most expensive being like 450 yeah. for those who really want to be yes. rah, sure, rah, right rah. up there. Yeah. And then that's the tickets that sell first. Like as in like... like we want it. We want to be as close to the action as possible. And then I was like... Like you all... Uh, I think we are in a time where people obviously have to decide between luxury and necessity. Sure. The fact that they still see you as a necessity. Yeah, it's fantastic. That is the biggest compliment that you can get and then be humbled by it. So yeah. that show was supposed to be out now into the end of August. The network felt that it was so strong. They're going to put it as the main show in December on the 31st Deservedly of December. So. Deservedly so. So I'm very, very happy with that. Imo, you're a successful husband, father, entrepreneur, entertainer. The world is still but young to you. Stealer, <laughs> <artist> provider, <laughs> website creator. Socialite, 
When you're creative and good, <laughs> it comes naturally. <laughs> Ladies and gents, one of the true, true treats in South Africa. If you get to see this man perform live, if you ever get the opportunity, yes. buy tickets, go and see him. Yes. If he's got a show running anywhere in the world and you're watching this from a different country, go and see him. Thank you. He's one of our proudest exports. And the most important thing and the thing I love the most, the most is that he's from the Western Cape. He's from Cape Town. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gents, Emo Adams. Thank you. Um, I want to thank my mother. <laughs> Emma. So I wasn't sure we were going with it. I wasn't sure we were going. I was just thanking people. But thanks for you for giving us this platform. Man. I think it's dope. And uh, for everybody that's watching, I appreciate all the support. Um, until we meet again, Awe. Awe.